Go Hatters. Right, whether it's Josh Warrington, Johnny Nelson or Richard Dunn, boxing gives us plenty of options if you want to do a bit of local name dropping. But the most famous boxer of all is this man. And now Yorkshire has its own boxing star who shares his world famous name. Paul Ogden has been to meet Keith Lee's very own Muhammad Ali. Let's get the weather now with Keely. Thank you very much, Nicola. A mixture this afternoon of sunny spells, but also a few showers. They'll begin to push in from the west. Well, everyone in York is talking about this today. Controversial plans for 17,000 new homes in York have been blocked after a close vote by councillors. Sites across the city had been earmarked for building, but many local residents were fiercely opposed. Well, now the council will have to go back to the drawing board, although its leader insists new homes must still be built if the city is to have a sustainable future. Well, Phil Bodmer is in York for... But first, on Monday, NHS staff across England will stage strike action in a protest over pay. And for the first time in its history, members of the Royal College of Midwives have also voted to walk out. Hospitals across our region will be affected. So what does the strike mean for patients here in Yorkshire? Cathy Booth has been finding out. Cathy. Hope so. Thanks. Absolutely fascinating. Is, yeah. A full-scale excavation in your garden. Not bad. What about the next-door neighbour? Mm. <laughs> Before seven o'clock. They're the most successful club in British women's basketball history. Next tonight, it's Posh Togs on for a night out at the theatre. The Lyceum in Sheffield is reopening after a three-month shutdown, during which it has been totally refurbished. It's cost £2 million and sees some 21st century comforts installed in this most elegant of Grade 2 listed theatres. Tom Ingle is live.